yet, so let's get through the news and then we'll pick a random chart and go through it. Um, unless somebody's got some questions that they want to bring up. And if I can find Bull Dead's chart, uh, I'll bring that up as well. Just depends on if Eusebio lets me have the mouse through here. So uh, let me see, where is this? And I want one of these. And I want one of these. Okay, here we go. Go, Eusebio. Okay, we are on the correct week. Yes, we are. So on Sunday, um, I will monitor the yen preliminary GDP price index year over year. And then we have the preliminary GDP quarter over quarter, which is a major higher time frame. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Then on Monday, we have, uh, I will monitor the German Bundesbank monthly report. Yep. You know that it's indeed a bank holiday in Canada. Then, um, to do, I will monitor the Aussie monetary policy meeting minutes, and we have ten railroads speaking too, indeed. Yep. Okay. Uh... So, due to speak about the monetary policy response to COVID nineteen, oh, this may be important. So, I, I will monitor that. Okay. And the New Zealand PPI. No. We we can consider the PPI input and output both. Yeah. Okay. As uh, now major or uh, uh, monitor, I would say of two majors. Uh, little news. Yeah, they can be considered major, but uh, they are at the limit of major and monitor. Okay. But, it, but in the present context, it, they may be considered as major. Sure. Okay. Uh, Tuesday, I'll scroll down. Okay, on Tuesday. Yeah. <clears throat> On Tuesday, we will have, so let's see, I will monitor the pound unemployment rate. Uh, so climate change and the other is not important. Yeah, but it's the same group of, of uh, news, so, uh, but not necessarily uh, major, but uh, simply a monitor. Okay. Then uh, we have, then okay. we have the unemployment rate major. Then we have two uh, major with the German EU economic sentiment and the EU economic sentiment. Okay. Then I will monitor the ECOFIN meetings. Then we will have, let's see, Powell uh, testifying. I can't. And Ross? Due to testify along with Treasury Secretary Stephen, I never know how to pronounce that name. Uh, on Newton. I think. Newton. On uh, coronavirus. Yeah. yeah. Uh, relief and the Economic Security Act before this. Or simply monitor. Okay. Because they will, he will simply repeat uh, their decision they have already taken. Then we have Kashkari speaking. Do you speak about the economy at the General Mills Finance Team event? No, no, it's not important. Then we have the Kiwi GDT price index, major, higher time frames. Uh, the FPI, I don't remember what the FPI is. Let's see the content of the FPI. Change in the price of food and food services purchased by household. Oh, this is a measure of inflation. So, yeah, this is an important one. Especially in this context, we may see a very big increase in the price of some foods. So, and that's all for Tuesday. Not seen it yet, but okay. And scrolling down. And it's longish, so oh, that'll do. Yep. On Wednesday, we have, I will monitor the, the pound CPI year over year and the core CPI year over year. Then we have similar the PPI input and output for the pound, so uh, major. Ah. 
uh, we have the euro current account major higher time frames. Yeah. And I put care next to these ones because it's still playing around with Brexit, so it could still be a surprise. But Yeah, indeed. Then we have the German 10 year bond auction to monitor. Sorry. Uh, then what, 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 German uh, current account. Current account, major higher time frame, yes, correct. Okay. So I hadn't got there. Told you. You have to wait for yeah. me. Okay. Then monitor the German 10 year bond auction. Yep. Uh, correct. Then we have the CAD CPI month over month major higher time frames. Yep. We have uh, the core CPI month over month major higher time frames. Yep. And we have the wholesale sales month over month major. Then we have Bale speaking. Let's see what the Bank of England has to say. Due to testify wait. along with the three MPC members on the economic impact of COVID-19 as usual. So monitor that indeed. We have to monitor the crude oil inventories. Then we have Lane speaking. Looks like they've all had their Zoom training. Uh, jumped. Due to, due to deliver a speech titled Policies for the Great Global Shutdown and Beyond at the Chartered Financial Analyst Society at Winnipeg. No, 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 not important. Okay, I'll leave it up so it doesn't jump. Okay. Then we have uh, monitor the US dollar from C meeting minutes. I will uh, monitor the OZ flash manufacturing PMI and flash services PMI. We have the yen trade balance oh. major higher time frames. Wrong, hang on, hang on. Got the wrong one. Yep. Yeah. Then monitor the uh, flash manufacturing PMI for the yen. And then we have low speaking. Where he? Okay. Panel discussion. Let's forget. Okay. And that and that's it for Wednesday. On Thursday, bank holiday in Switzerland, bank holiday in uh, in France, bank holiday in Germany. So uh, the oh, European honest. session would be rather quiet. So on Thursday. Ah. Yeah, the ascension okay. ascension day. Yeah. So then we will have. Uh, the GBP flash services PMI and the flash manufacturing PMI, so major. Then we have the CAD, oh no, sorry, the CAD ADP non farm is not, not important. We have the US dollar Philly Fed manufacturing index uh, major. Uh, major for the unemployment claims, again, in this present context, otherwise usually it's not in, it's less important. Mm -hmm. Then we have the US dollar flash manufacturing PMI, major, and flash services <laughs> PMI, major. Kind of big these days. Yeah. Uh, but it's important so to follow these kind of indicators to see if the economy will restart yep. progressively or, or not. So, major. Second part. Okay, thanks. Then, where are we? Uh, uh, we have William speaking. Scrolling. You to speak at the Greater Rochester Chamber of Commerce. No, not important at all. In Rochester. Then monitor the natural gas storage. Yep. Then we have Clarida speaking. No, Clarida. This is Powell. But we can we can check uh, with Powell. That's oh, right. They're both there. Okay. Clarida, due to speak about the U.S. economy outlook and monetary policy at the New York Association for Business Economics. No, not important. And Powell opening remarks at the Fed uh, listens event on COVID. Uh, no, less less important. No, less important. Uh, we have the, I will monitor the Kiwi retail sales and co-retail sales, quarter over quarter. 
Okay. Or you can put it as major, but not major higher time frames. Okay. And so that's it for. Uh, I will monitor. Sorry, I will monitor the core, the national core CPI year over year for the yen. And that's it for uh, Thursday. And on Friday, we have the pound retail sales month over month major. Pound uh, month over month? Retail sales month over month, oh. yes. Major. Okay. And then uh, we have the CAD. Uh, sorry, before the cut, the Euro flash manufacturing PMI and flash services PMI. So major. Then we have the CAD uh, retail sales month over month and retail sales month over month major. Okay. Yeah, and that's it. Okay, uh, so the incantation goes. Uh, if you're trading smaller time frames, watch out for anything that's backed with major. If you're trading higher time frames from the H4 above, watch out for anything that's backed with an H4 plus. If they appear, then uh, and you're about to get into a trade or you're in a trade, then don't enter the trade within one hour of the news coming out, and get out of it within half an hour of the news coming out. This is just to avoid volatility so that you don't impact your account. Standard people, when you've got a lot of uh, units, if you can get there, there's things are flattening out again. Um, if you've got plenty of units running at the same time, scales, scalins, then um, uh, you can just prune off some of the scalins to protect your profits and your account. Uh, for the impact of the news, the euro, the yen, and the US dollar. Uh, the important ones. So any news coming up on those, regardless of what pair you're in, uh, treat them as if you're trading them, and treat them, um, yep, with the one hour and the half hour uh, provisos. <clears throat> if you're in, if uh, news is coming up on a smaller pair, like for instance the CAD, or the Kiwi, or the Swiss, or the Aussie, then uh, if you're in those particular currencies in the if that currency is in that pair, then uh, follow those provisos. But if you're in something that doesn't actually have that much connection with those smaller currencies, then just be aware that the news is coming up, but you don't have to follow the, the provisos as strictly. Uh, and the pound kind of sits halfway between the, the three big ones and all the rest of the little ones. So d depending on the market moves and what's been happening recently, then uh, news coming out on the pound could cause ripples right through all the pairs or not. Um, and having said that, the uh, get out of jail card for me is that I have seen news coming up on the Kiwi, which is the smallest pair. And it made the pound dollar or something like that uh, jump. It caused a ripple right throughout the, uh, all the pairs particular day because there was a surprise on the Kiwi. Um, a surprise is when there's something like a 20% a deviation from a solid number like this. So if it was coming out at saying we're, we're hoping for a 38 and it came out uh, at say about 32 or plus 0 0.6, uh, 40, 44, uh, then you would consider that to be a surprise and uh, trade whatever comes out after that um, with a bit more care and watching the direction that the, the actual um, I <laughs> just walked myself into this deep swamp, swamp of explanation um, <clears throat> uh, trade it in the direction that it was good for and you can find out uh, if a, a number being positive or negative is good or bad up here uh, it's jumping around. Okay, so actual greater than forecast is good. So if the number came out at say 44, then that's a good surprise. And perhaps the euro is going to be very strong. So look at all your pairs with a strong bias. 
from that point. The euro pairs. Okay. Um, if uh, it's marked with a, a, a decimal point here, uh, I've forgotten you, Sabio. Do you go for point two? Uh, for point two. Uh, is this what's the surprise for something that's marked with a decimal? Ah, uh, a minimum deviation of 0.2 percent in general. Oh, yeah, in general, but okay. because there are always some exceptions, uh, of course. Yeah. As you have said, even the 20 percent for uh, other numbers, it's just a general rule. For some of the news, it may require a larger deviation, 25, even uh, uh, 40 percent, like the non-farm payroll, for example. So it depends on the news. Sure. Okay. So um, for ones with a decimal like this, uh, that's say under the under one, uh, then you would be not looking at a 20 percent variation, but just 0.2 percent. So if it was 0.3, then that's big enough. If it was, uh, yeah, okay, you can do the maths. I can't. Um, if you have any questions, yell out. Now's the time. Um, and also in these scrolling parties, if you haven't been in one before. If you want to use the microphone, I'm more than happy to un unmute you. You can talk directly uh, to us. Better talk to you, Sabio, than me. But, um, yeah, uh, uh, another, re another remark. For the moment, uh, while the economies of the two countries have not restarted um, in a uh, convenient way, in a satisfactory way, uh, satisfying way, um, we have to pay attention with these news really because sometimes even a bad news or a big negative or a big positive deviation will not produce a movement, a, a reaction in the market because uh, the, the bad news are already heavily priced in the price. And so don't be surprised to see an unusual behavior of the news release. So for instance, uh, unemployment claims looking at uh, it was nearly three million last time, now looking for another two and a half million. Um, that's what's being expected. So uh, it's a super bad number, but it's already been factored in by most most of the big boys if they're yes. playing around. Okay. Um, okay. So, yep. And on the top 10 pairs, which is the other part. So what I do next. Uh, after this session as I sit down with our web page and I go through and grab all that information uh, in here and reformat it and put it on the web page for you. So I'll show you that in a minute if you haven't seen it. But everybody should be aware of it by now. I'm actually going to show you now. So it's here, Axe Trading System News Watch List. Um, so the critical items went through this with Eusebio just before we started. Uh, these are still the same. So these are sort of long-term items to be watching out for. And down here is the list for last week. So you've got majors and the ones that are marked in uh, magenta are extra special. Um, if there's a nice surprise coming out on these, that these ones are generally worth, uh, sometimes can be worth while waiting up for. But it, Last week, it was the Aussie wage price index, which uh, caused the market to move. And the official cash rate didn't really do that much on the Kiwi, um, I, if I remember correctly. Uh, but anyway, uh, watch these ones. And if you, haven't, if you haven't already gotten into a trade, then wait for the news to come out and then see, see what comes up afterwards. OK, um, so the other piece that we do is the top 10 list. And this is what this week's looks like. So here's the 28 pairs sorted, uh, cleaned, devirused, um, and arranged by their average money range. So the Euro Kiwi is the best mover so far. And you can see the range is getting a bit smaller. So Euro Kiwi is the best mover at 1292. And I'll put that down here. To type the date in. Um, and you can see that it was quite big around about March when the crash came, and then it's it's beginning to narrow again. Uh, last year it got really narrow in the uh, middle, of, middle of the year and then started widening out. And I thought, oh, great, we're going back to what the ranges used to be like a few years ago. And then COVID hit in around this area, 
caused a bit of a crash and now the markets are sort of tightening up again, getting quite flat. Uh, Eusebio can comment on that because he was a bit grumpy on Thursday, I think. Yeah, it was it was grumpy Thursday for Eusebio. <laughs> Why was I grumpy? <laughs> Uh, because the market had gone sideways and you'd only just managed to get out of it without losing your your multi-year no losing trade stay record. Oh yeah, it, it has been a nightmare that day, indeed. <laughs> yep. Okay. And if you look at the charts, they just sort of just went sideways. It was pretty nasty. So anyway, we've got the top ten pair here. Uh, the next few that I'll just add. Um, we had smooth movers listed as well, which were, say, something like these pairs here. Um, they weren't as volatile as these ones, but they still had a reasonable range, but um, didn't make as much money. That was in the past when prices were moving a bit more, and back in March, these were quite jumpy. They were, uh, they were very hard to, to trade, uh, very spiky. Um, things have calmed down a bit now, and so the movements aren't quite as spiky. So maybe you say, I'll put this on for one more week and then evaluate next week and perhaps remove the smooth movers. Um, okay. uh, in, in the smooth move, uh, mover, you can add the USD card and not take the USD card in the top 10. I'm sorry, say that again. I was coughing my head off. Yep. In say the top again. 10, don't, don't include the USD card. And in the in the smaller uh, movers, include the USD card. Ah, okay. Yeah. So only nine in the top ten. Okay. Yes. Right. I'll put that in red. So that'll do. Uh, in fact, I'll just pull them out now. That'll do. Put them over here. Okay. So here's the the top pairs, and I'll take them out. So we've got nine pairs to choose from, and what Eusebio will do now is match the, the pairs up with the news for each day so that we get uh, a, a daily set of pairs for that particular day based on what the news is. So let her rip, Eusebio. Okay, for, let's go. Uh, Sunday we've got the yen. The yen, okay. And Monday carries through until 5 p.m., so... We've got nothing, no majors in there, so... Okay, uh, so the, f the first choice would be the pound yen. Okay. Then we will have the Euro Kiwi or Euro Aussie. Okay, hang on, I'll just turn them black. <sighs> Come on, automatic. Sorry, mouse isn't working. Euro Kiwi, Euro Aussie, yep. And then we will have the pound kiwi or pound Aussie. Okay. And in order to cover the US session, uh, we can add the pound US dollar. Okay. So, uh, following on from Monday, so Monday finished at 5 p.m. And so Tuesday starts after 5 p.m. New York time with the kiwi. The kiwi, okay. And on Tuesday itself, we've got uh, the pound. The pound, so we have the pound here. Pound, 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 okay. The euro. The euro, 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 okay. Uh, the US dollar. No, oh, no this is the money dollar. The US. Yep. And normally I'd bring in the kiwi, but I think you've already got that, yeah. We already Tuesday. have the kiwi. So the first choice will be the Euro Kiwi or Euro uh, Aussie. Yep. Then we will have the Pound Kiwi or Pound Aussie. Yep. And then we will have the Pound Yen or Pound US Dollar. Uh, pound US dollar? Yes. Sorry, US dollar. Okay. And we cover the three sessions. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Wednesday, leftovers from Tuesday are uh, the Kiwi. 
the kiwi so i have the kiwi here here okay uh wednesday we've got the pound the <coughs> pound 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 and pound okay okay uh euro the euro 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 and euro okay uh cad cad a lot of choices cad cad okay um that's it and that's it okay so the first choice will be the euro kiwi or euro aussie yep then the pound kiwi or pound aussie yep and then the pound card or euro card ah euro yeah Just trying to save, save euro card keyboard. pound card or euro card and we go over the three sessions okay yep so leftovers from wednesday are the yen uh the yen yen here okay that's it and uh holiday for europe uh but the pound is all go so the pound the pound the pound the pound 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 okay us dollar US dollar, US dollar, okay. And that's it. And that's it. So the first choice will be the pound yen. Okay. Then the pound US dollar. Yep. And then we can take, ah, it's a bit more difficult here because we have the several countries, European countries on holidays, so we can take the um, pound kiwi or pound Aussie. Ah, oh, okay. Good old standby. And we cover the three sessions. Yep. Yeah. Okay, leftovers from Thursday, uh, the kiwi. The kiwi, so kiwi, uh, kiwi, okay the pound the pound so pound 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 and pound okay uh euro <coughs> the euro euro and euro okay and cad and the cad so cad and cad okay so the third choice will be the euro kiwi or euro aussie then the pound kiwi or pound aussie yep. and then the pound card or euro card ah, right like wednesday like wednesday pound yep. card or euro card yeah i was trying to copy it thanks i think it went somewhere okay and cool. and we cover also the three sessions yeah okay we are good okay so instead of looking at all those pairs the the 10 of them we narrow it down to just these ones here to start with uh so you, you you check out say a maximum of four that you want and probably even prune it down further because it could be that the kiwi has got a larger spread for your particular platform than than the others uh pound kiwi normally has got quite a wide spread so it just depends on what it's been moving like and then uh, if neither of the, none of these is working for you, then you can drop down to the uh, the third row. Okay, uh, so that's that side of things. Um, Baldev, not sure if this is significant, just thought I'd mention Fed Power will be interviewed on CBS News 60 Minutes. Program is scheduled at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I can put it in. So Powell talking to the public at seven Eusebio monitor. Yeah, yeah, and and then. Do you want it to be monitored? No, no, because it is just an interview on CBS, and so do you really believe that Powell will give important information during uh, such a TV show? Because the the, the sixty minute uh, program on CBS is a TV show. And so for me, it will have no impact at all in, in any markets. So okay, not Trump, important at all. 
Trump does. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, and the stock futures market will be open and could have an impact on liquid. Okay. His, his new idea is to have a strong US dollar with negative interest rates. That really, uh, if, if he if he achieved that, it's re he's really a genius. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, he, he, I'll bite my tongue here and let's move on then. <laughs> okay, thanks, Paul, Dave. If, if anybody else has any, any comments to make, make um, it's really, really important to bring them up. So um, it, it, even if uh, Eusebio thinks that they're um, um, call it, not that important, it's still important to know that they're not important, I guess. So, uh, yeah, and I was going to say that it, the CBS they would normally record the thing ahead of time. So what he would say would be curated um, and they'd have all the questions already so that he didn't scare the markets too much. But hey, you can always have a surprise. Um, but thanks for that, Paul Dev. You know, a, central, a central banker will never give important news uh, during a, a general lecture or a presentation, a speech, uh, in front of an audience, the only important information a central banker gives is only in the in the monetary policy uh, statement and uh, in the press conference following uh, the monetary policy statement. So the other important information are extremely rare, except when it is intended. So otherwise, you can ignore any central banker's uh, speech. Or comment. Okay, thanks, uh, uh, Paul Dev. <clears throat> I'll put this here in a readable format. So I just chop the. So uh, Paul Dev has given us this link to Market Watch, which covers that um, Powell story. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's see how it goes. And I'll pull yeah, this out. To, to, to comment about the tactics, but we know the tactics uh, the central bank has implemented. So uh, this is not a new information; it's an old information. Okay. So does anybody have any questions or anything that they want highlighted, run over again? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>